Hi there! In this lesson, you'll get started with Bootstrap. Bootstrap provides a lot of great tools to help us make web pages. So how do we start? How do we add Bootstrap to our pages? To add Bootstrap to your web pages, you'll need to add the following code inside the head tag of your HTML document. Within this Bootstrap skeleton, we have two Bootstrap CSS links. These provide access to the Bootstrap styling and icons. We also have the Bootstrap JavaScript file link. This calls the Bootstrap script that provides code for animations, transitions, and more. These meta tags provide help with compatibility across various devices and browsers your web page visitors might use to access your online content. Add your own custom CSS styles in a CSS file. But remember to put the link to your CSS file after the Bootstrap CSS file link. Here's an example of including your own CSS file link after the Bootstrap links and scripts in the head of your HTML document. Now that we have Bootstrap loaded onto the page, what can we do with it? To start, let's experiment with some predefined Bootstrap CSS classes, Container, Text Start, Text Center, Text End, and Text Mute. All site content needs to be inside a container div to make all the content responsive. To create a container div, you create a div where the class name is container. Using the container fluid class makes a full width container rather than a fixed width responsive container. So let's compare container to container fluid. The container class is fixed width the width updates occasionally as the window is resized, and it provides nice margins on the left and right. If we use the container fluid class, our div will be full width and the width is constantly updated to be the full width of the window. Here's an example of the container width readjusting at specific intervals as the window decreases in width. With the container fluid class, we get a smooth width adjustment as the window decreases in width. There are bootstrap classes for aligning and styling text content as well. These classes are used to left, center, and right align text. Last class, text muted, styles text as muted. Let's take a look at some examples in the editor. To add bootstrap to your web page, you simply need to add a few tags to the header element to import the Bootstrap JavaScript and CSS code. The starting template is available in the Docs tab under Bootstrap. Copy and paste this into our index.html file in the editor. You can see in the starter code that in our head tag, we have a link to the Bootstrap CSS file, the Bootstrap JavaScript file, and also the Bootstrap icon CSS file. Without any additional HTML code, we still have a blank web page and can't see Bootstrap in action. I'll go ahead and add a couple of HTML elements so that we can see Bootstrap in action. Let's wrap the word link in an a tag or a link tag. Now, when I refresh the page, we see Bootstrap in action. We see that there's a really nice font, um, and also the margins are no longer here. To help see this a little bit more clearly, I'm gonna go ahead and comment out these lines in our code. Without Bootstrap, this is what the document will look like. Let's test the bootstrap classes. That way we can add some spacing in the margins and we can also make our page more responsive. All the content in bootstrap needs to be in a container. To put our content into a container, we simply move it into a div with a class name container. So in our HTML code, let's create a div class name container. and we will nest our HTML elements between it. Here, we can see that there already is some spacing added to our web page. Let's test out other bootstrap classes, the style elements on our page. 
In this line of code, we added the class name text muted, which provided us the muted text here. Bootstrap also provides other ways to change the color of text with other class names such as text primary, text success, text info, text warning, text danger. Bootstrap also provides ways to align the text. Here we have text left and text center. Text left aligned the text to the left of our web page, while text center aligned the text to the center of our web page. We can also change the color of the backgrounds of our colors as well. Our web pages are also now responsive. As I change the size of the window, we see that the web page responds.